Well, look at that. We have an extreme double feature. How this works, since there's two chaoses for this raid. You do one, and then you do the second one, and your crystal colors have to match. So for this one, I went with red, green, and yellow. So my next team, for the Sephiroth one, also has to be red, green, and yellow. Here we'd opt for Cater, because uh, it's Cater. Why wouldn't we? She's going to destroy this. Saz always beefs her up. You know, he does that to everybody, but the Saz cater combo is still one of my favorites. And we needed healing, so I thought, you know what? Let's go with somebody that I haven't seen used in forever. One of my personal favorites to use that I haven't used in a long time. Rem! We did a really good job. Yeah, I figured I'd go double time with this, because if I were to just do two of them at normal speed, this video would be uh, about 40 minutes. Nobody has time to watch a 40-minute video. Well, they probably do, but they don't have the attention span to watch a 40-minute video. So I figured I'd just go lightning fast. Maybe it'd be more fun to watch, more streamlined, easy for this ADD generation of ours. And just get it done. So far, so good. Ten turns in, massive damage. We got counters. There is one point in this where, oh, it's embarrassing. I'm glad I sped up the video so it's not on the screen for very long, but towards the end of this fight, I forgot to put Rem's Cure buff back up. That's an attack buff that just takes place on her that is good for the whole team for 10 turns. Takes up one buff slot on Rem and ups everybody's attack. It's pretty nice. But I forgot to put it on because I was too busy swapping turns, and then Saz pops his EX, and it's the most disgraceful Saz EX damage I've ever seen. Not like it mattered, we got through it anyway, but just the fact that that mistake was there, it hurts. But it's alright. Not the end of the world. We got bombs? Yes. Tried to make sure not to have Brave when he does this, because he absorbs it and hits you with it. That was one bad thing about Rem. She kind of puts, puts you in a position here and there where you kind of have to have Brave when that comes at you. Because there's not really much that she does that doesn't build Brave, except for like her Brave attack. And I'm not about to use Brave attacks. No way. Turns out we didn't need to. We just take the hit and move on. Because on top of Rem's healing, we have the Saz... I said the Saz Sphere. The Porum Sphere on Saz, which heals for a pathetic amount. But it's something, coupled with somebody like Rem, who can burst heal on top of just a little bit of HP regen that Porum Sphere provides. It's good enough. Go boom. This is so fast, I love it. Now's the time, there we go. Yeah, so, as you see stuff just flying all over the screen, the next team I use, it's, it's a lot more fun to watch. The stuff is just flying around all over the place. You'll see the team set up and go, oh yeah, okay. This is going to be everywhere. And it was, and it was a lot of fun. Actually worked out better than this one. I think, uh, yeah, the, the, the last one was definitely less turns. Not by much, but still. You see, already, the damage is slipping. One nice thing about Rem and Saz. So Rem has this buff. After she uses her EX, she gets one free skill, and that's granted to her in the form of a buff. Which Saz can extend. Which means with Saz and Rem on the team, you just get swaps for days. Rem is so unique. She really is, man. Like, you... You get so much control in any given fight. I mean, she has her cons. You know, if you're going to keep swapping with people, you better make sure, especially now, at this point in the game, you better make sure that those people have good staying power, have good longevity, because otherwise you'll just spend your characters way too fast. I mean, you'll see it here. I mean, I end up getting spent towards the end, but it was like we had just enough juice to close it out. Thanks to Rem. More healing. 
Take this hit. Yeah, the DPS has definitely been cut. Yeah, and I think I already lost the cure buff and I'm not even really worried about it. I mean, Cater's fine. She's got Saz helping her out. And she imperils for herself, so she she's okay. Yeah, see, I keep swapping. So I want those free swaps. There we go, we needed that. And the launches keep coming. Cater does that, she just hits them so many times. Hey, don't look at her. There we go. They actually hit her what? So Edward is tomorrow. I'm definitely pulling on that. Hopefully he comes quick. I got a decent amount of resources. Hopefully I don't have to spend too much, but I would definitely recommend uh, Edward. He's very good. Another unique character. Nobody else can inflict sleep. That's not all he does, too. He does a lot more things. But definitely worth your time, worth your stuff, worth building. I recommend it. We are now at a solid 50 turns. We're getting there. Get that provoke on. Here we go. Yeah, see, Rem, you should cure. Get that buff back up before it goes away. Odyssey 65s. Good battery. This might be the one right here. Nope. It's I think it's next time. Oh, I don't want to. I can't watch. I can't watch. Here it is. Oh boy. Look at those brave hits. Wait, no. No, that wasn't the one. There's one that's even worse, I think. I don't even know. Either way, that wasn't great either, to be honest. All these launches. Jump in front. This is the one right here. Oh boy. Oh. That's painful. We'll get through it, it's okay. Next death's gonna hit us with just brave, thankfully. I probably could have swapped there and killed him first. Looking at that, I had so many swaps left probably what I should have done because now I'm like oh we got to stall what's gonna happen oh no now we finally cure and now for round two yeah this team stuff's flying around all over the place this one was tons of fun and everybody served a very crucial role here I mean you got obviously Kaisen Fujin for launches Fujin's in peril is really helpful here to deal with that brave reduction, and Freya's a solid support. 
We're stacking auras. We got plenty of battery. Good setup. I like this one. The launches were a little difficult to set up, but once once you were set up, the damage just kept coming. Which you'll see shortly. See, I knew the break order would be messed up, but I wanted to hit them both. Probably should have just opted for skill one there. Like it matters. You know, it would have mattered, because then I could have launched everybody with that. I wouldn't have had the HP attack, I could have saved the EX. Or I could have used the EX, excuse me, I did save the EX. Which I'm going to use now. Now that everybody's all, all in line. I have not checked the list. I don't know who else has done this, what teams other people used. I'm curious, because I always like challenges where it's not just one team. Like, you got to run through a few things with different teams. I always like those. It's one reason I like, uh, I like the Abyss a lot. Another reason I like the mission dungeons whenever we get those. You know, the ones that are based off of the crystal colors. It's just fun to see what other people come up with. Give some battery to Kais. Yeah, see? But I kept getting stuck in this predicament, which isn't great. It's like, okay, do I want to waste a skill? No, I need to save those. Which means I have to battery everyone just so Sephiroth can hit us. Which isn't ideal. But sometimes you gotta do what you gotta do. But that's okay. See, we were all set up. And then they had to go and break Kais. That heartless angel got me. It's alright. We can battery with it. Fujin's HP attack is so good. When you pair it up with other launchers, it's perfect. That keeps happening. She's all set up. Yup. Nope, not quite. Oh no, this this whole succession was awesome. I love this here. So we knocked them back. The turn rate on skill one is puts her in the perfect spot. So we get a launch there. You can delay everyone. We get another one. And another one with the EX. Perfect. So that's 34 turns, and they're under half with a turn requirement of 80. That's, we're right where we should be. And we still have a summon. Oh, Kais! Jump behind her. I think we gotta go in. Right at the halfway mark. 39 turns. I thought about other teams. I was thinking I might bring Alti to this. I think she would be good, but then I was thinking about the brave reduction. That might have been a problem unless you really hooked her up because she takes a whole bunch of consecutive turns right in a row. And with this brave reduction, ugh, might be nasty. I mean, I'm sure it can be done, obviously, but I opted for this and it worked out a lot better. This 
her EX up. It's not so close. Wasn't really sure what I was thinking about there. I think I was debating whether or not I should delay them. Which probably would have been a good idea. Given what's about to come at us right now. Yep, should have done it. Oh, and then this, I should have targeted A, because look, they switch! Which gets Kais out of that rotation. Not great. But even with uh, mistakes made here and there, this team just demolished this. It does get pretty clutch, though, in just a second. But it doesn't matter, because Freya has got our backs. Everyone's down to one. Forty-nine, and Sephiroth is on the brink of death. Yeah, we definitely got to heal up after what just happened to us. Get the break. Thank God for that Fujin counter, although he would have lived anyway because the last stand, but why even deal with it? This right here. This was uh, pretty clutch. Because they want to kill Kais. But we're all good. Give him battery. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is how it's done. Almost fell health, so close. But 60 turns, and that's a wrap. That's a TCC Extreme double feature in 18 minutes. Not bad. All right. Hope you enjoyed, and thank you all for watching. See you next time.